headphones, you guys. My parents actually bought an old, well, there was an old piano going to the tip and they decided that they might grab it. I think I'd been hassling them to get piano lessons, so they bought that home and that was the beginning. I think I broke it, I know. I used to just in my free time start writing and yeah, it developed from there. We've got 20 minutes and we're gonna start. Oh, okay. I was a real nature lover, so I think my first song was a real sort of greeny song about why should people, like, leave glass bottles in the bush and what about the poor emus and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I've kind of gone from playing acoustic kind of popish sort of songs to this new sort of ambient thing, which I love. Um, and for me it's like, it feels like going out on a big ocean and there's these huge waves, you know, and it's like you just get the chance to get out on the waves and actually just see where they take you. And if you can do it with a couple of other mesos who can get in that zone, who are free enough to step into that zone, it's pretty exciting and, and yeah, I, I love it. I love it. I guess because I love nature and the natural world, I understood the concept of there being a creator um, because you could just see the intricacy of nature and even just to hold up a leaf, I was amazed. All right. Uh, look, we've got till six. Faith wasn't a difficult transition for me because I'd um, been introduced to it through my mum going to church and then um, I could just see um, beauty all around me and I knew that there had to be um, someone who was a designer that was behind the whole thing. For me, I, I feel like we've got so much noise in this this world that we're in now and so much media, like we're, we always carry our phones around and we're bombarded with sound and media and words and, you know, it's just at us all the time. So um, for me, um, music um, and perhaps even music where you don't have to always be thinking about the words is a, re a release for people to just find some space. This song, um, Sun Stars, um, again, it's kind of about um, getting out beyond our logical reasoning and opening up the, the mind and the imagination and using our imagination to engage. It's this thought that, wow, like if we're prepared to actually um, embrace the light and expose our heart to the light, then we, we do kind of begin to change and shine and become everything that we're destined to be.
Galaxies. It was a song um, where I heard someone um, talking about um, their beliefs and their faith and they were saying that when they would um, go to a place where they were trying to connect with the creator, that they would actually ask what kind of mood the creator was in. <laughs> and I was thinking, well, that's really weird. Um, and, they was, and they were saying not like is he in a bad mood or a good mood, but more like um, he's a person, so therefore is he in a playful mood? Is he in a... Um, is he in a kind of majestic mood? Is he, you know? So they were actually, they were actually trying to push their heart to um, try to find um, their creator uh, in a personal way and think of him as a person. Because I mean, if if you believe um, what it says in in the Word, it says that we are created in the image of God. So I went into my room, turned the lights off, hit the keys and um, just, you know, waited until my heart just felt that sense of peace and and then I sort of in my heart I went, well, what, what, how do I find you today, God? What, where are you? And I just got this sense of um, this person. It wasn't that I could see the person but they were wrapped in galaxies. They, like, had this royal blue majesty and they had the galaxies just wrapped around them and I was like whoa and and I was just in this sense of wow like the galaxy you know (laughs) awe and that's how I wrote Deepest Galaxies just thinking about the awesomeness of um, someone that has has made universes and you know stuff that's what way beyond us infinite and then the infantism it brings it down so small and smaller and smaller and smaller, you know, the depths and the heights and, yeah.
The song Radiance was taken from the Psalms. Um, there's a new translation of the Psalms called the Passion Translation, which is really amazing, like really brings a new um, breath of fresh air um, what, to a book that's already awesome. And um, so a lot of the lyrics from Radiance are actually um, pretty much taken, big chunks of it are taken from um, this version, the Passion Translation.
honey from the rock is kind of the picture of where you're kind of like up against the cliff or a hard place and you're like, heck, what am I going to do here? And um, that sort of sense that sometimes when you're caught between a rock and a hard place, there can be something beautiful that comes out of it. So, you know, the sweetness that can come out of those hard places can often be um, something that is life-changing and can be shared with others. Um, And I think sometimes, you know, you never really wish those places um, upon yourself, but when you come through them, you know that you're richer and you know that you've eaten of the sweet food from coming through those places. Try.